The Federation of Underwater Activities, Malta, and the Professional Diving Schools Association have issued a joint statement in a response to a notice issued by the Licensing Authority Transport in Malta. So this notice specifies areas where boats are allowed to stop and anchor around Malta, Gonzo, Gozo, so, right, and uh, Comino, Comino, and also currently it allows certain types of surface fishing obviously to be carried out as well. But what Fuam uh, and Putzi, see I gave you the abbreviation, <laughs> uh, PDSI, uh, want is all the island wreck sites, including artificial reefs, to be protected from this notice. They've suggested that the perimeter marker buoys be used to exclude all traffic other than approved dive boats from the sites, at least from March until December. So they believe that by doing this, it will improve the dive sites and also stop divers running into deadly fishing lines. Visitors have noticed a decline of fish around the Maltese islands and many fear that this might stop people diving in the area, obviously due to the lack of fish. And as we all know, scuba diving is ridiculously popular in Malta. The divers also urge or argue that the current regulation of boating passage complicates the enforcement of protection of wrecks and reefs. So by blocking certain areas where people can fish, you know, it should actually clear all this mess up. Hopefully. Yeah. So if a site is only allowing dive boats in its area, this could encourage them to use permanent mooring points as well, rather than anchoring, which will do the seabed a world of good. Uh, and a lot, uh, basically a lot like the moorings off the Thistlegorm. So it's off the wreck, you don't have to moor onto the wreck, which just pulls it apart, yeah. and you don't have to use anchors that just rake the bottom yeah, substrate. Good. They hope that the action will be taken this year, ready for the up and coming dive season. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what do you guys think about all of this? Do you side with the scuba divers? Why wouldn't you? No, I'm gonna go the opposite <laughs> way. Uh, or do you believe people should be allowed to fish wherever they want? Who doesn't love discarded fishing gear scattered on dive sites? Let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and safe, safe diving. Time. Well, it's like, you know, you get those kids TV shows back in the day, like you have to do through obstacle courses. <laughs> Was it Fun House? A wreck should be like that. Yeah, invisible fi fishing, fishing line. wire. Yeah, and hooks and nets. Uh, I'll tell you about that nasty story I read in a thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, we're not going to tell you, no. so bye. No, it's, it's... We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.